to start a hands-on workshop. My name is Khuram Aziz and I am a researcher, entrepreneur and aspiring data scientist. Today in this short video, I am going to show you how to import and export data into and out of Strata. I am using Mac operating system. So let me use the Max Magic and load this data. All right, there we go. We have our Strata window in front of us. Let me quickly adjust it so that we can have a better look of everything. There we go. And we have our Strata software loaded. Right, so as I just mentioned that in the short video, I'm going to show you how to import and export data into and out of the Strata software. Let me quickly share with you uh, an Excel file that has got uh, the data that I want to put into the uh, Strata software. So here is our file that we want to put into the program, Strata program. I have here a data set of 100 employees working in a factory. The data is related to the gender of the employees. Then we have got age, ethnicity, and the maximum education level. I'm not going into the details of the codes that I have assigned to different items in each variable, as we will cover in these things in another lecture. For example, I would not talk about why I have assigned zero to male or female, or why I have assigned one to males or female. So now I'm going to import data into the into the startup program. It is pretty straightforward. So just remember the name of this file. This is Stata data file. Just remember this. So I'm going into the Stata software. So from here, I will go to the data editor, not data browser, data editor with a small pencil. So I'll select my Excel file, select all the data from the Excel, copy it. I just copied, I'm sure you can see these dotted lines. Then I'll go to the data editor in the Strata program and I'll simply paste it. When I just enter Control V, which is the normal paste command that we use in MS Word and MS Excel, the Strata software asked me that uh, you have selected, uh, as you can see that we have selected the title of these columns so gender of employees, age of employees, ethnicity, education level, which, which which were actually the labels of the variables. So here, the Strata software is asking us whether we want to use those label as the variables name. So you can read the first row on the clipboard contain values that can be used as valid variables name. Do you want to treat the first row as variable names or data? Yes. This is the reason that we have selected uh, the data with the variables name. So let's click on variables name. So oh, you can see, I'm sure you can see that now we have the variables name, gender of employees, age of employees, ethnicity and education level. Let me quickly uh, reduce the, f there you go. So gender of employees, age of employees, ethnicity and education level. And these are the labels. If we want, we can change the uh, size from here for example if I want to make it gender I can do that so if I want to make it age I can do that I can do it here by double clicking on this I can do this and so on uh, you can see that now we have got shorter names here for example education can be changed to edu and so on so this is the first thing so if i'll close this you can and i'll go back to the data browser you can see that we have this data the data from the excel uh, then you can see that we have got 100 observations just to give you an a touch that we have exported uh, we have imported data into this data program let me quickly run a strata command let's say i run strata command of summarize you can see that we have got four variables gender age ethnicity and education we have 100 observations for each of these this is the uh, 
uh, the mean age for all these hundred uh, data I, the, for all these hundred observation was 46.96 with a standard deviation of so and so the minimum age from the selected sample was 35 and the maximum age was 60 and so on and so on Ho hopefully you have understand how we have imported uh, data from the excel into the stator program let me quickly clear this which means everything will be washed out from this data so if i go to data browser so here you cannot see anything anything here as i just mentioned that i'm using stata so there are few things that will be different in mac operating system and from uh, if we'll refer to the microsoft operating system windows then there are few things that will be different in my operating system for example if you want to import data in the uh, mac operating system you can import using an excel sheet text data text data in fixed format and other things we do have excel spreadsheet the data file that i have just used so let me quickly bring that here for you uh, i could remember the name of that that was stata file s that was stata data file so once again when i browse that file i selected it now i've got this this uh, this window in front of me i have few options like the the other options that i have obtained while i was using the other other method of importing data you can see import first row as variable name obviously i want to do that the second option that i have to see is that whether i want to use the lower case or upper case for the variables name let's go with the lower case and that would be it once again in order to check whether we have data uh, loaded into our stata program let's go to data browser there you go i'm sure you can see that once again we have all the data uh, in our program in our stata program let me quickly run the command as i mentioned in my previous video that we can use this review command just to recall any old command that we have used and apply it to another uh, variable or another data set let me quickly use the summarize command i just clicked on summarize summarize appeared here in the command window i am pressing enter there you go you can see that now we have got same thing if i'll use clear once once again everything will be washed out from the system so hopefully you have understood this thing let me quickly import it back here so this is the excel spreadsheet the name of the file was stata stata data file so this is the file once again import first row as variable name uh, i want variable names in small case or lower case so this is again that's the the file that data is imported into the stata program i'm looking into data builder so that i can check whether data is actually loaded into the stata program there you go so once again out so we have used two methods for importing data into the stata program the next thing is how we can export data from the uh, stata program into the other software before i go into that let me quickly save this data file for saving this i would press save and this program would now ask me the name of the soft uh, the name of the file that i would like to choose i will say import and export lecture so this is the file so you can see import and export lectures for for one instance if i'll close this file and now i would like to open it again import and export so you can see import and export dta this is specifically the data file that we can use for the spss program so if i'll select this if i'll select this and run this so we will have this 
data file in front of us. So let me quickly use this. So this file is has just loaded. So this file has just loaded. I'm sure you can see import and export lecture data DTA. So uh, whenever we want to export data, we have to go here. Just quickly check whether we have the data into this. Yes, we have already have that into into this data program. Let's export it to uh, Excel. So our system is asking us for the Excel file name. Let me save it. With save it. Save it. So this is the file name. So just to make sure, just to tell you that I do not have any any other file in the name of this. So, so you can see that I do not have any file in the name of save it, save it. So let me quickly save, export to the Excel spreadsheet. File name is save it, save it. Now it is saved. You can see export Excel using save it, save it. File save it, save it has been saved. So if I want to check, now you can see that we have got file save it, save it Excel. And if we'll open it, you will have this file. So I'm sure you can see, let's open it, this file. So this file is here with me. I have this file. I think I've skipped some steps while I was doing that. Uh, the software program gives us the option to save the name, the the column headers as the variables name. So we can see, save variable names to the first row in each, in each, see? So worksheet, if we want to save it to any special worksheet, we can do that. Uh, if we want to do it in a specific cell, we can do that, but let's skip it. So instead of save it, save it, I will now save it, save it again. Just remember the file save it, save it did not have the uh, column headers. So let me quickly share it with you. The file save it, save it did not have the columns. So here is your save it, save it. It did not have any columns, but if I'll save it again, save it again. Save it again to have the requisite column name so this is your save it save it i'm sure you can see gender of employees age of employees ethnicity education level so these are few options that we can use while we are uh, exporting data from the stata software to any other program so always remember these options always remember these options All right, everyone. Thank you for thank you very much. Thank you very much for listening to me. Uh, if you have any questions, you can always ask me. If you have any question, please let me know in the comments section below. If you have not subscribed to the channel, please do it. Please say something about this video in the comment section below. It will help me in improving these videos. Thank you very much. My name is Sura Majiz. I have a very good time ahead. Happy learning.